This video is brought to you by Lords of Ragnarok on GameFound, the best dating site for crowdfunding board games. Hi everyone! For today's product review, I'm going to be taking a look at the Iron Clay's Game Counters by Roxley Games. Whenever people find out that I'm a hardcore tabletop gamer, one of the first things they want to know is how many games I own. However, with new board games coming out practically every hour, I found it almost impossible to keep track. Luckily, the folks over at Roxley Games have come out with these game counters to hopefully provide a solution. The iron clays are clay composite chips with iron cores that come in a variety of denominations. Mines start with 1s and go all the way up to 500s. When you first receive them, you're supposed to count up your board games, set aside clays that add up to that amount, and put them into your pocket. Then, whenever someone asks you how many games you have, you just have to pull out the clays, count them up, and let them know. The chips have a wonderful texture and an incredibly satisfying weight to them. They are a genuine pleasure to hold, and I found myself looking forward to someone asking me about my games just so I could get another chance to handle them. Mine also came in this limited edition screen printed wooden chest, which allows me to display them on my gaming table in style. There's even a drawer on top that contains two sets of premium cardstock game counters. If you're ever going for a night out on the town and don't want to have to carry the hefty clays with you, these ultra-thin counters can help you remember your game total in a more refined way. All in all, it's clear that an immense amount of work went into making the Iron Clays a premium offering, so it gives me no pleasure to say that this is unfortunately one of the most idiotic products I've ever encountered. They definitely are great when someone specifically asks me how many games I own, but Realistically, that only happens maybe four or five times a year. Does Roxley Games really expect me to carry these chips around every single day on the off chance that today is the day somebody asks me? Regardless of how good they look and feel, when it comes down to it, they're simply not practical. On top of that, as one of the most well-respected influencers in the board game industry, it's my responsibility to constantly be cycling games in and out of my collection. Because of this, each day, I ended up spending hours recounting my collection and switching out clays. All of my free time was being taken up by keeping track of my total, and it got to a point where I was even turning down actual game nights so I could stay home and update my count. Also, I am completely confused by the denominations Roxley chose to include. I'm totally on board with them including an ample amount of smaller chips like 1s, 5s, 10s, and 20s. But why on earth do I have 20 chips that say 500 on them? Does Roxley Games expect the average person to have upwards of 10,000 games in their collection? I'm a board game influencer, and that number even sounds ridiculous to me. Even worse, they completely bungled the numbering system on the cardstock counters. First off, and I don't know how they miss this, but on the lowest cards, they put the letter A instead of the number 1 just worsening an already confusing situation. Then, when you get up to number 10, instead of numbers, for some reason they just have drawings of these random old people who are all conjoined twins. I don't know who they are or what their deal is, but I do know that they sure as heck can't help me count my games. Now, while all of that is bad, I haven't even told you the worst part. You see, there is no reason for this product to even exist. There's a website called BoardGameGeek that is essentially a database for every board game that's ever been made, and they give you the ability to digitally curate your entire collection. I don't need clay poker chips to help me remember how many games I have. If anyone ever asks me, I can just bring up my collection on BoardGameGeek, manually count every single game I listed one by one, and then answer their question. When I first got them, I thought I was going to love the Iron Clays. But now that I've had time to think about things logically, it's become clear to me that the folks over at Roxley Games are nothing more than crooks and con artists, out to make a quick buck on a beautiful looking useless product with zero functionality. Also, unrelated, please make sure you check out my new game, which is a physical deluxe edition of Rock Paper Scissors. The link is in the description below. Lords of Ragnarok, the next game by Awaken Realms, is live on GameFound. Back by November 11th to get all stretch goals, over 50 miniatures, and a 12-point compatibility test that's matched more than 40,000 people with their true love.